Being up for Spencer and Toby. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, oh, man. The mid-season finale is going to be huge for Spencer and Toby because Spencer and Toby's relationship over this season has only been growing and deepening and becoming more and more beautiful and vulnerable and tender. And A zones in on that as her Achilles heel and it goes right for it in a brutal, brutal <laughs> way. What are we going to find out about NAT? Mm. You're going to find out that the club is very much still in session. <laughs> so Spencer kind of stood up for herself and confronted Jenna. Are we going to see more of that like kick-ass take name, Spencer? Oh, man. Like, when are you not going to see that? <laughs> Spencer, that's my favorite thing, whenever they write new confrontations. Um, but it's going to also get in the way. We've been filming a couple scenes uh, between the two of us that have been a little bit too confrontational for mm-hmm. comfort. <laughs> um, Shay, Emily has a scene with... Um, Alley that bring that brought Marlene to tears. What can you say about that? Um, trying to think back to it. <laughs> so we've shot so many episodes, so every time we go back, I'm like, what if? Yes, I do know the one. Um, it is very emotional. I mean, you get to see Emily and Allison, you know, and before, and Emily has always been more so out of all the girls, the one that was, you know, extremely fond of Allison, maybe in more ways than just as a friend. And it's, you know. Uh, her and Allison, whenever they got alone time, it is very special for Emily. And she really loved all those times when it was, you know, just her and Allison, aside from, you know, just being in the group with her. So it's um, it's a touching scene, and it's just, you get to see Emily and, ha- and why, you know, the whole death of Allison really hit her harder than the other girls because of her relationship with Allison that you will see in this scene. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Now, it just got in the way of Emily's latest relationship. Mm-hmm. Is that something that comes back around, or is Emily going to be dating somebody new? Or Emily's what can you tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's always new girls that come to Rosewood, but um, <laughs> actually, in in tomorrow night's episode, someone special comes back, meaning Maya, and a lot of the fans are very excited about that, and it's yeah. kind of cool because she's been away for a while. So her and um, Emily get to hang out for a bit, and as far as where that relationship will go, you will have to see. But uh, okay. yes, yeah. So Shay, were you a swimmer before this? You took this part, and also, what's going to happen with the growth hormone thing? Are you going to still get? Oh this man! Scene? Oh, that was so horrible. <laughs> the funny thing about that that I'll quickly touch on was we were shooting that scene, and at first the writer had put in just HGH. So I wasn't actually seeing the whole word, and of course I was getting very emotional with it because I was like, how dare they, how dare A, but um, then he's like, okay, now say it like human growth hormone and actually say it aloud. So then when we were doing the scene again with uh, Julian and I, I said the whole human growth hormone, and then that really hit me, and I was like, oh, can't believe that she would do this to you know Emily's whole career in swimming, so that was kind of funny. But um, yeah, I was a swimmer when I was younger. I was put in the water when I was, you know, like one and a half, two years old, really, really early, and I've always been, you know, a fan of the water, but never a swimmer like on a swim team. So all of those shots where I am swimming, those are me. But I did have a coach for like two weeks beforehand. You trained really hard. That was a that was a lot. There of, were like uh, training. two weeks where she was coming in every day with chlorine eyes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so sore, and I was like swim practice, and she was like, "Yes, yes. I'm talking." Julia, now that the show's a success, is your dad a little bit more okay with you being an actress? Oh, he's, he's very supportive. He's always been supportive of me uh, being an actress. But it's just, a, it's just really funny. Um, you know, it's like, it's like talking shop, like, over dinner, you know? It's like, <laughs> like, what are you supposed to say when we do, like, amazing on our show and we get, like, four million viewers or something, and my dad is like, that's great, I had, like, 17. <laughs> like, could you just pass me the potatoes? <laughs> cool. So the girls are going to tell someone about A. What are the ramifications of that? I don't know. Do you want to tell what the ramifications of your (laughs) actions are? (laughs) Obviously, Emily is probably, yeah, she is the first one to crack. I mean, well, do you blame her from all the, you know, past couple of episodes? It's like, for Emily, for Emily. Yeah. (laughs) 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 With Emily, she does crack a little bit, so she does come clean about a few things to Dr. Sullivan. And uh, the ramifications. It turns out to be a really good thing, though, because actually yes. Emily's bravery in coming clean leads the girls to a whole new level of closeness, mm-hmm. and um, and uh, it, it inspires them to to maybe do that themselves. So it's actually a really brave action. It's not Emily breaking down and freaking out and spilling the secrets. It's actually her standing up for herself. 